How to install ice cream sandwich on a Galaxy S4G, today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Fiesta. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews. I'm Mauricio Bavanera, and we're dedicating most of the show today to installing the latest ice cream sandwich build on your Nexus S 4G right now before the official release of the new Android operating system. But before we do this, we have to give you the usual rooting and jailbreaking warning. Do so at your own risk. We are not responsible for any damage done to your phone. Keep in mind this process does void your warranty. This process will also wipe your phone, so make sure you back up before you attempt to root your phone. I'd like to highly recommend that you read this thread over at the XDA Developers Forum in tandem with watching this video. Michael Han will walk you through the slightly technical advanced process in a sec. But first, let's not forget that there's some awesome new apps out this week. ITV for Android is in beta, and you can sign up here. Uh, ITV is actually one of my favorite uh, applications on my iPad right now. Firefox 8 has arrived everywhere, including the Android market. I've created custom vibration patterns on my iPhone, and you can do the same thing on Android 2 with Vibe. The updated App Store app has added personal pickup and easy pay options. I'm gonna have to test this one out myself. Tumblr bloggers, Tumblr Photo Sender is now free for iOS. And finally, you can discover music with an interactive map of millions of bands and artists now free on iOS. The application is actually called Discover Music. Yes. Send us your favorite apps at appjudgment at revision3.com or on Twitter, Facebook, and in the comments below. Or better yet, check out our new Google Plus page at the URL below. So without further ado, let's get some ice cream. Hey everyone, Michael Hand here. I just got a Nexus S 4G, and I heard that you can put ice cream sandwich on it now before it's even released. So let's try to do that. Right now I'm just following a guide to root the Nexus S 4G. So first thing you do is plug in the USB, done. All right, then you go to settings, applications, and then development, and then you wanna turn USB debugging on. All right, that's on now. So we'll send, we'll put a link in the show notes, but there's a zip file here to download that gives you all of the stuff that you need to actually root the phone and unlock it. All right, so I downloaded this already. So we're gonna open up this zip file. Uh, folder here and in here is ADB which is the Android development bridge which you can do all sorts of debugging stuff Android debug bridge all right so we're gonna do ADB reboot bootloader and then, so that looks like it worked the phone will come into the bootloader and if you can see there it says my boot my lock state is locked so we need to change that so the way you do that is you come here, you bring in the fast boot from that folder, fast boot OEM unlock, and then it'll do its thing. So now it's saying, do you want to unlock this? Now, if you do unlock it, it'll clear out all of your data. So if you want to keep all, all your data, you probably shouldn't do this. So, but we're going to do yes with the volume button and then power button. All right, so now we're unlocked. So this means we can flash custom anything on the phone. So now we can go and bring Fastboot in again to the terminal. So this time we're going to bring Fastboot fast boot Flash Recovery. And then this is gonna flash the clockwork orange. And then we'll bring in the clockwork orange image. All right, so now Clockwork Orange is flashed. We can come back here, reboot into recovery. And we're in Clockwork Orange. We can go to Mounts and Storage. Turn on USB storage. So that'll now it pops up on the computer. And then we also have a link for the latest ice cream sandwich build to bring ice cream sandwich into, onto the SD card. Our friends at Ford loaned us a 2012 Fiesta to drive around for the fall and we've been having a ball with it so far. 
Pandora with Sync App Link is pretty cool in the new Fiesta. Just say the name of your favorite artist or track, and Pandora will serve you up a radio station customized to your liking. Next song. We're really excited to be working with Ford and have them as a sponsor this week. So thanks to Ford and the 2012 Fiesta. All right, so next we're gonna go to install zip from SD card and then choose zip from SD card. And then we have the ice cream sandwich zip here. We're gonna go yes. And now it's installing. Oh. All right, it's done. So next, just to be safe, I'm gonna wipe the data and the cache. All right, so let's try it out. So the first startup is probably gonna take a little bit, but after that, everything should work pretty smooth. So that's about it. There's a few things you'll notice that don't work in this build. The home button will work within the app, but not in the home screen. 4G currently does not work either. That's kind of a big deal there. Your panorama camera gives you this funky imaging, and NFC does not currently work with this build. You really should see the install as a preview of Ice Cream Sandwich and not as a replacement for the real deal once it comes along. Let us know what you think. Did you try this install? Let us know on Twitter, Facebook, and in the comments below. See you soon.